Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2 where we are invading Sokoto for what is likely to be the final time here. Unfortunately, America won't let us through. It'd be awful nice if they would, but uh, they grabbed a whole lot of territory there and there isn't a whole lot we can do about it. So we're just trying to make friends with them. At least for now. Let's see, the UK is at 20 opinion of us, that's fine. Spain, of course, still really hates us, but France is currently justifying on them, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Spain is going to get wrecked. They are military power 96, compared to France's 282. Okay, we have no concern with that uh, crisis. That's not a problem. Oh boy, France joined the crisis on the side of the Russian Empire. That's going to be spicy. Oh, an address to Parliament. And it seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that the order long established shall prevail throughout the centuries, throughout the eras, and today. A conservative member of the upper house has addressed Parliament today with a lionizing speech to the nation and its manifold glories. So we can either lose a consciousness or lose a militancy. Hmm. Consciousness is going up faster than militancy, actually. Right now. Let's go ahead and ditch the militancy, though. I'd kind of like to not have to deal with these rebels for a bit. Speaking of rebels, 23 brigades ready to join. Yikes. Let's go ahead and suppress the Sokot Liberation Movement. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> They, uh, they rebelled. Okay. This isn't so bad. I can handle this. Our troops are already right here. So, we need to prevent them from taking Gonder. But it's going to take them a very long time to do that indeed. So let's head these troops over here. Although... I'm going to go ahead and max taxes for right now. We're going to bump our military spending up to about here. 65% should be good enough. Okay, I'm going to give it a month tick. Yeah, we'll round up the usual suspects. Okay, let's let the month tick happen. I like how these guys are... Uh, all, all spread out. The UK is joining the German Empire. Okay, that's really getting spicy. We'll go ahead and walk in here. And let's see, are these guys... I, I'm assuming they're primarily irregulars. War between Ethiopia and Sokoto. You don't say. Austria-Hungary is amiable with France. Okay, so... It kind of sounds like this might be like World War I starting. A little early, but um, it's getting spicy up there in Europe, that's for sure. Can say that with a uh, bit of definitiveness. Okay. There we go, crushed some rebels. We'll come up here and crush these next. And you can come over here. How are we doing sieging Sokoto? We're getting there. I mean, this is their location with a fort, so I think we'll be fine. Sokoto doesn't seem to be interested in making troops. Or rather, they are, but I think they can't get the supplies that they need. I think that they just can't buy the weapons. Which is kind of funny. I mean, I'm kind of starving them out on that one, I guess. I'm buying any weapons that I can before they are. Okay, let's go crash into this stack. And that should be a rebellion pretty thoroughly put down. When are we going to arrive? 27 December. Let's actually wait. It's 29. I want to wait till after the month tick. Which is actually also a year tick.
There we go. Excellent. And that should be the rebels sorted. Piece of cake. Okay. No more rebels. Yeah, no more rebels at all. Wow. They still exist, but uh, <laughs> we've got them dealt with. So now we don't need to have our military spending up anymore, which also means we don't need to be taxing quite as harshly. I'm going to be sitting at about 65% taxation for now. And we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, that should be fine. Excellent. Oh, we're actually making plenty. But see, this is one of those situations again. Projected daily balance 1.4 versus what we're actually earning, which is like 16, 17. I don't know what makes the difference there. It's very strange to me. Is it exclusively looting? I wouldn't think so. Who knows, though? So, that means that we can probably drop our taxes down another 5%. About like that. I mean, we could probably go another 5%, but for right now, I'm not going to. Okay, USA. I want to increase relations. There we go. They're now 141. At what point will they let us walk through? I mean, we kind of don't need to anymore, but I still want to make friends with them. They'd be good friends for us. Our troops do need to modernize, it is true. We're making good progress, realistically. We are at about 4,000 research points out of the 17,000 that we need to fully westernize. And of course, we are currently building a large amount of railroads over in this area, which should help our income as well, I think. I mean, it'd be best if we could connect this in some way. But I doubt the Americans would be too amenable to that, realistically. Okay, once we have this fully occupied... I think we split up and just try to occupy both. Like, we only have the two brigades, but I think we go ahead and do this. Like, we can do it now. It's not a problem. Because I don't think it's going to be appreciably different. Yeah, it's just going to be slow any way we slice it with this few number of brigades over here. We really could use these guys, but alas, they're not going to be allowed to come over. I'm going to drop taxes again down to 55. Since we do seem to be getting a fair amount coming in from looting. There we go. Okay, so at 92% here. These guys are regular infantry. That's good. Good to know. Crisis set in motion. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> they're going for it. Neither side is backing down over this one. This is going to be uh, certainly a spicy one. I don't want anything to do with it, thank you very much. Oh, there they go. The field of battle will decide who's right. Oh wow, look at how much money we're making all of a sudden. Let's bump this down to 50%. We're still making a ton. Like, we could probably bring it down to 40. Hang on. I, I see that up there. I'll deal with that in just a moment. 
Okay. Yeah, we're still making money at 40%, so that'll be fine. The UK is requesting military access because they want to fight in their war that they, they just created with the Russians, French, Japanese, and Austria-Hungary. Who's on the other side? UK, German Empire, Italy. Yep, that's a spicy one. You can have military access. Please don't attack me. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with your war. Too spicy for me. Three spicy, five me? Probably. Probably three spicy. Okay, so we are at 96%. Is this not ticking up with one troop here? I'm not sure if it is or not. It's going very slowly, to be sure. Slower than this. That's to be expected. There is a fort there. If it doesn't tick up soon, though... I'm going to be concerned. Like, we can see their fort level here. They have a level 1 fort. And then the question is, do, do we require two units to siege it? Or is it just super slow with one? I'm going to move this back in. I'm going to give up on this progress that we made over here, unfortunately. And I'm not going to split these until this fort falls, then. Lesson learned okay so there's more reactionaries thinking about rising up but uh, I'm sure they'll be fine so the question is who's actually going to win that war what is the actual war goal there let's take a look German war of Azerbaijani liberation so the the German Empire is trying to give Azerbaijan back their core provinces. Okay, whereas the Russian Empire is trying to acquire Ostprusen. Yep, that one's uh, going to be spicy. Look at that military strength. I mean, theoretically, France and Japan and the Russian Empire should win that. But it's going to really weaken them. The USA, do you want to give us military access? No, they don't. Let's just increase relations with them. There we go. We're up to 156. And we have now successfully... Oh, hey, we built this railroad. We've now successfully gotten Sokoto to fall. So let's go ahead and split up our troops at this point. And there's our second railroad coming in. A lot of these are substantially delayed, though, because of the wood shortage. This part of Sokoto? Yeah, that's part of Sokoto. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that this was not, but it definitely is. I like how our exclave is just completely surrounded by colonies. That's definitely a little on the spooky side. I'm trying to keep the militancy a little on the low side, but, uh, yeah, about that. May God have mercy on the- I I'm assuming that's supposed to be, like, them all or something? Oh, the Tay Bridge collapsed. Okay. We defeated 6,000 rebel troops in Khartoum. Yes, yes, yes we did. <laughs> That's not really something that I want to memorialize. Thank you very much. Okay, so is there like a macro builder in this game? I haven't found one. It's a little unfortunate if there isn't, but our troops do need to modernize, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I think... We'll build a railroad in our two locations with a port. That would probably be a good idea. So we do need a little bit of money to make this happen. Oh, we just got a big spike of like 300 pounds. That was strange. 
And we gain two war exhaustion. That's okay. Question is, when is Sakoto going to give up here? I mean, we're at 50%. We need a lot more, though. We're fulfilled in 14.2%. Okay. Liberal lost some ground there for Reactionary winning that election. That's uh, not great. I actually don't know if that's an election or not. But yeah, that's still not great. Anyway, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue annexing Sokoto. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.